Yo, what is going on, you salty sable light? That is right. Today we are playing a deck that effectively plays 56 cards because we are playing four Judge Whistle here in my ADP Moltres build uh, to try and just find those 56 cards more efficiently, more quickly, more aggressively because Judge Whistle just draws a card. So when we play Judge Whistle, we're drawing a card. If we draw to another Judge Whistle, we simply play it again until we don't draw any more Judge Whistles and we actually draw a card that is not a Judge Whistle, which means we see one of those 56 cards that are not Judge Whistle, which means we see them more often when playing games. And I'm inspired to try this out in this build uh, because, you know, we saw Sander with the Malamar VMAX playing Judge Whistle. And then the other day, I saw Henry Brand trying the Judge Whistles out in a Mewtwo build. And I was like, you know what? I want to try it out. I've been thinking about it recently and like thinking does it actually make sense and uh how good is it you know especially after i initially saw sander trying out in the malamar v max so i was like okay what deck do i feel like i could just put them in there and just kind of see how it goes see how it feels and i was like adp station or adp maltrace my bad no longer is an adp maltrace i feel like i could easily fit those in there so i cut from my previous build that i showed you guys i cut a viridian forest a switch a cherish ball and a dark energy and i don't know if those are the most optimal cuts we don't really need four Moltres ever, so maybe cutting a Moltres instead. But finding Moltres early on is such a big deal with this deck. I feel like getting it out turn one, getting the Dire Flame Wings every single turn if possible feels so good if you can pull it off. So I was like, I'm going to keep the four Moltres for now. And also, if you go up against like the, the Dark Week decks, like the uh, Shadow Rider and stuff, you'd want to only use exclusively Moltres for the most part. You usually don't even use the ADP. So I was like, all right, let's keep the four Moltres in there. But that would maybe be a better cut than one of the other cards. But I was like, all right, I think I can get rid of Verdian Force. Get rid of a switch, uh, cherish ball, and then a dark energy, like I said. And let's see how this we'll see how this goes. Um, so yeah, I don't got too much else to say. Like I've already gone over this deck before in my previous video. Today we're just kind of trying out judgmental. Can a deck function with effectively 56 cards? And does it feel better than playing a full 60 cards? Let's find out. All right, here we go. Getting into our first game. I'm gonna see how these whistles feel. We would like to go first. Uh, we're looking for that turn two GX attack. Mm, this hand is not going to have it unless we top deck and out to ADP, which we definitely could. Got four quick ball, three cherish, and a couple ADP in the deck. So not super unlikely that we wouldn't top deck here. And hey, there's that cherish ball. Going to go ahead and grab ourselves the ADP. And then I'll probably Aurora Energy away the E switch here. Because once we get this energy on the ADP, it's a little bit less useful. And I don't want to put this in the active. I don't want it to get power accelerated. So we're just going to go ahead and pass over to my opponent. Um, and we do play the Zapdos in here as well as we open the Zapdos. So opening Zapdos, not too bad in this matchup because it is so good against Eternatus. Uh, and this matchup has always felt, or has since the release of Zapdos and the addition of Zapdos to ADP Zation, has felt very good. Uh, the Eternatus V Max matchup has felt very good for ADP uh, with the release of Zapdos. Because um, there's a couple ways that... Uh, so if we have the Zapdos here in our active right now, like we do, um, they can KO it before we can attack with it. But then that means after we GX attack, we get to ultimate ray ultimate ray pretty freely so then we're just like a boss boss away and whenever adp gets the ultimate ray up against the eternatus deck we usually win and if we don't get to ultimate ray and they knock out our, our adp then we have the zapdos to work with so there's really no bad way it goes to be honest like either we get to ultimate ray or we have zapdos to work with uh currently we're missing the energy finally gonna get, we're gonna get to use the judge whistle here um in just a second i might then out some stuff first we can go with like cherish ball grab the ADP and then I'll quick ball that away um actually I don't have to quick ball yet I'm gonna go ahead and play the judge whistle draw a card another darkness energy so we can quick ball away the ADP we're not gonna take anything here though because there's nothing really worth grabbing um discard the darkness energy uh fail again start on the Moltres Crobat first for five cards and hopefully find Viridian Force that's perfect Viridian Force into play Viridian Force away another dark energy so we're losing quite a few dark energy here but it's really not that big of a deal we did prize our fighting energy which is our main way to get into or our most consistent way to get into that zapdos but we can come up with another way to pull it off we have roars and stuff so it's not like the end of the world it's just not uh not the best right not the best but uh we should be okay here we also have elder goss in the deck so we could quick ball for goss next turn to get the boss and we could attack with a uh, roar burn or i could have actually quick balled away this this dark energy here to get Mawile, that probably isn't that great. But yeah, here's that boss on the Zapdos, like I was mentioning. They can just go boss your Zapdos <laughs> and then take it out when we open it like this. We ideally don't uh, start the Zapdos and we only put it in play when we're going to attack with it. Otherwise, this can happen, which we don't love happening. We don't like this to happen. We don't want our Zapdos to go down here, but it's fine if it does. Uh, I only play the one Zapdos, so now that it's gone, we're, we're out of Zapdos. Uh, but we still have plenty of attackers left to be able to pull off back-to-back -back KOs with the good old classic boss boss route 
um so we're gonna go for that this turn we're gonna go for that boss boss i might just go ahead and use goss here first just goss for the boss guarantee the boss but i kind of want to leave the goss in the deck so i'm debating whether or not i will actually just want to dead change first i'd rather leave goss in the deck to play around marnie or reset stamp on the following turn and then go from there like that so let's go ahead and use this quick ball i'm gonna take a look at the deck and i'm gonna make my call from there make my decision could go goss for boss we have only one boss in the deck so this makes you want to heavily lean on the goss for boss um just guarantee it now because if i did a change who knows if i'm gonna get it we also prized a dedene however we are gonna be drawing a prize card this turn so we could pull it out of the prize card so i'm gonna be a little bit more aggressive with this this dedene as well and i'm going to well they had the dark city in place so i guess i should send up moltres um i'm gonna be a little bit more aggressive with this dedene as well because i'm gonna try and thin out my deck as much as possible this turn uh drawn to like verdian forest use that stuff like that um go ahead and give me a crowbat and then daddy change like this draw so we got some judge whistles we can use we got an e-switch we could use um i don't really want to use the e-switch though because there's nowhere for it to really go uh this wouldn't fail i guess i could use the cherish ball and we could grab mawile cherish ball the only thing we can grab is mawile we have three energy in the deck that we'd be able to thin out of the deck I guess I could use the e-switch here to be honest so we can go like e-switch from this to there um uh, because we'll be able to load up the mall choice anyways and I could mawile this turn because they might only have crowbat to draw cards I might not be able to even fill their bench if I put the crowbat down maybe they don't get draw other cards I don't think if I ever need this bench space I don't think I do so we may as well try and get some value out of mawile here um not gonna do a whole ton but we do see for them to actually get a basic Pokemon they do have to Marnie us um so we know we're getting Marnied makes me almost not want to play the judge because if I draw into my boss then but there's a higher chance I draw into anything else. If I draw into anything else, unfortunately, we got the energy there. If I draw into anything else that's not boss, now when they Marnie us, we have a higher chance to draw into the boss. So it feels like it is correct to use it like that there. Um, but it definitely could have been correct to actually just chill, you know? So we want Dedene and boss off our prize cards here. We know we have one Dedene. There it is. And we have one boss. No boss there. So for the rest of the deck, though, um, we only have one quick ball out to the Dedene anymore. So if they Marnie us, we're looking to draw a quick ball or boss. Uh, and this is what I was saying. Like if we, if we unfortunately like have our Zapdos and play early on, like we did here, our opponent knocks it out, but then we get that ultimate, right? So our back-to-back -back attackers are just set up, which is one of the things that like ADP Zation uh struggled with in this matchup before it's like if you didn't get to ultimate ray you need to use all your metal saucers efficiently and like it's hard to get there right but in this new build of the deck it's not as difficult but it looks like we're whiffing here uh my opponent doesn't have the bench pokemon yet and it has to be um no it doesn't because they poisoned us I was gonna say it has to be a zigzagoon but it doesn't because they poisoned us so <laughs> I mean I guess they could they might whiff the knockout no it looks like they got a basic pokemon off this quick ball so they'll get the knockout just fine and actually they got a it's a big charm on the oh it doesn't matter because we have or burn 270 the poison from the slow bro coming in KOing us so we're on the top deck here we need a top deck uh I mean I guess we have great catcher left actually because they did put that okay cool. we can great catcher actually because they did put the uh the weavile in play hey there's the boss <laughs> it doesn't matter go ahead we'll go ahead and take out the weavile anyways um because because why not let's take out the weavile there's the boss we could have found the great catcher actually we had the great catcher left as well i like am not used to a gx being on my opponent's bench but i was like wait a second i had like this feeling there should one of these should be a gx like, there's a lot of different things on their bench and a lot of them are worth two prize cards one of these is a gx right oh it's the weavile of course um so yeah great catcher was still an option there i don't think we had discarded it yet of course i could also be wrong on that but i'm pretty sure we're still in the deck and we could have marnie there did not shuffle the deck with the verdian forest give ourselves the highest chance to hit it and if the Marnie whips, maybe we draw into that quick ball, the quick ball for the Dedene. The Dedene maybe finds us the great catcher in the end. And uh, might have still got the dub, uh, even if we had to, you know, use the Marnie instead of just top decking boss. But top deck boss, it does make things a little bit easier. All right, here we go again. My opponent did win the coin flip. We're hoping they choose to go second here because we really don't like going second uh, as this build of ADP position because we don't have that. Ooh, an opening ADP is never great. Um, we don't have that option to turn one uh gx attack we don't have the e-switches we don't have the metal saucers we have the e-switches we don't have the metal saucer so we don't have like the, the combo we need to actually pull that off and it looks like we're up against the ice rider from my opponent um so our big attacker in this matchup and we have like a lot of what is really cool about this build oh my gosh five mulligans yes please um go ahead and throw that down as well what's really cool about this build of adp is we have a lot of attackers for like more niche situation it feels like instead of just being like all right zation over and over again we got like the, the mall wild really good against ice rider 
Uh, they do need to have a reasonably full bench for it to matter. So sometimes it just doesn't matter in this matchup, to be honest. And actually opening up ADP is really, really bad in this matchup because it means our opponent just gets to hit it before we get to GX attack with it. If we we're going first, we would like if we open anything else, they hit that. Then we go into the ADP. They can't want to kill the ADP unless they get the Leon play, which can be difficult to get on the second turn. Um, so I'm going to start thinning out first. I'd rather use the Judge Whistle afterwards. We could put second ADP on the bench is what I'm thinking here. We could put the second ADP on the bench. I don't hate the idea of that. Um, I don't really want to switch into anything because they can KO anything with this Ice Rider right now, which is like really scary. I don't want to give them those those like free prize cards, but we might just kind of have to. Uh, but going ADP into ADP is never terrible, especially if we give them a different Pokemon to attack. So we can grab this other ADP. I guess we're gonna try and hit a switch card this turn. Give the research. Grab myself the Marsh Shadow. Definitely want to get that in play early. Um, and then we're gonna quick ball away here. I'm gonna find something to just kind of get rid of. I think probably just get rid of one of these other Moltres. And then I'll attach the Air Balloon to this Moltres. Play the Judge Whistle. Draw a card. Another E Switch. Get rid of this, and then research. So pretty clean hand overall. Uh, getting rid of a kind of a bunch of junk, which is great. Got the switch, which is great as well. Um, gonna go ahead and Viridian Forest away the dark energy. I'm gonna go ahead and find myself that water. We did prize our metal energy, which actually really stinks to set up double Zation. It's gonna or double ADP. It's gonna really stink to set up. It'll be really hard to set up double ADPs here actually now, because we need to like hit double Aurora for the next ADP. Mm, that's not great. Uh, maybe I will just leave this ADP in the active here then and kind of run around as much as I can between make forcing him to hit stuff, but then not be able to take knockouts is maybe going to be the game plan a little bit more now. Um, and I think I am just going to go ahead and pass from here. Yeah, give it over to my opponent. We'll see what they got. Yeah, I think I have to like, let, I'm going to let them hit this ADP and next turn I'll do the switch attach. Like, hit them hitting this doesn't really do a whole ton because um, I mean, it doesn't like really aggressively progress their board state i mean they could have the leon play here i guess they could have leon like right now and just be like all right leon but he, they probably have to do the retreat melanie play this is often what they have to do on this turn is they retreat the sobble or the drizzle then they they get the energy in the discard pile to melanie to the alley rex to get the energy in play as well as moving the drizzle and seeing all those extra cards as well so uh makes sense that they have to play it that way and then yeah there's the melanie play uh they could have used like viridian forest to draw some cards first to try and get an air balloon here to try and get an extra energy in play actually so they may be um air balloon or switch depending on which one they play maybe a little bit of a mistake there from my opponent to be honest here comes another drizzle i'm sure path of the peak is one of the cards they're looking for here even though i have the marsh shadow in play they kind of want to work through the marsh shadow get the marsh shadow out of play by you know putting a path to the peak in play and then being like okay did that now you used your marsh shadow now you don't have it anymore and i put another path to the peak in play and kind of go from there uh actually they discarded a boss here which is really good for us because if they um they discard that boss it's gonna be hard for them to chase this adp so this is actually really good for us overall attach here which um Viridian Force away the Judge Whistle here and also like little plays like this can be like we can just give up the Judge Whistle as well because it kind of is just a dead card or whatever like a use it's not a it's not a card we care about so take a look through the deck real fast figure out if I want to grab anything here I don't think I do is it maybe another Moltres to discard so we're gonna grab the Moltres to potentially discard I'm gonna go ahead and accelerate that energy with the Direflame Wings another play we could make is just go boss 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 it's gonna be a little bit hard to do though after they hit this ADP though because then they're just like yeah two two ADP hits away from winning the game so um, I could also play a boss here and make things a little bit annoying for my opponent, I guess. I guess that's, like, better to do than not. Let's go with that. I'm tempted to bump the stadium now, but I I probably should leave what's it called around here. I should probably leave the Viridian Force in play and leave my Mars Shadow in play to be like, that's why I have an answer for the potential path to the peak. But this this boss could be a little bit annoying. They might even whiff the, the way to move this because they do need... And they don't have any Sobble down, so they can't get into a Drizzile to find a Switch or an Air Balloon. So they'd have to find that Inteleon, which they do play an out, a lot of outs to it. But we need to kind of, I don't know, going second in this matchup the way we did. Um, and then having the, them having that clean turn too, we need to create some space somehow um, and find some room for us to get back into this because we're definitely behind here. So we need to 
we need to find some way to kind of get back into it a little bit for sure so playing it like this i think is yeah potentially gives us a little bit of time to to work with i actually probably should have reinforced away the multi no quick ball for the multi i was like wait why did i get rid of the judge whistle over the multi but i got the multi with the quick ball after i've reinforced away the judge whistle so that makes sense uh, i don't think it was worth playing the judge whistle there because it was like a risk of like drawing into a good card that i don't want to quick ball and then my hands like a little bit like Ugh, what do i want to do with this um but my opponent has put a ton of pokemon in play they put down the four um so we're doing that <clears throat> that 130 and we can make it 100 so now 160 with the gx attack so we're actually KOing the calyrex vmax with mawile so that's going to be our game plan game plan this turn is uh get this ko with mawile now i do think uh we are down to energy switch <laughs> so it might be a little bit tough the other um i mean line we could have looked for here would have been like ultimate right chaos and we have the bench set up them all especially if they go with the max lance again for full damage like they did on the previous turn they have to melanie again on this turn to attack and they wouldn't be able to boss them all while so maybe when i quick wall there i should have got like crobat or Dedenne to kind of leave my options open a little bit more to potentially be a little bit more aggressive um there's that path to the peak um we'll see what they do here so we lose that but the my metal energy is prized i made note of that previously we only have one e-switch left in the deck um bump mawile research looks fine to me and i think it's just kind of what we have to go with here take a peek nothing they got level mall stamp water they can get that drizzle out next turn play the research yeah maybe i should have grabbed a Dene or, or uh crowbat there to give, leave my options a little bit more open. but whoa pretty good draw got the switch got the cherish ball um got the e-switch i should say so play the cherish ball i think there's a Dene in here there is two ounce two judge whistle two aurora so we can get the knockout here for sure so we can e-switch off of the bird to the mawile switch into the moltres for right now crobat for two get those two cards plus two you never know when it's gonna make the difference play this church ball i don't think there's anything to grab nope judge whistle looking for those aurora energy helping us dig a little bit deeper here and it could be the difference maker on this dead change we'll see we still have one judge whistle left as well there's the aurora energy uh not there <laughs> i almost put it on the wrong pokemon um down to the mall while we don't have a boss in hand um I'm going to throw this here just to make sure I can move and I don't get tied up for too long. Um, I also should have a roared away to dark energy because I haven't used the ability yet. So that's a mistake there as well. But here we go. Wily Bite, Knockout. So there should be like plus one dark energy on the Moltres. I don't think it'll be that big of a game changer, but it definitely could be, you know, better to play optimally than suboptimally. There's that metal energy. There's a boss. That's huge. The boss is huge. We're probably going to get reset stamped. So, but just having, oh my gosh, we prized two boss. <laughs> so was that all of our boss? Yeah, all of our boss, last of our boss were prized. Um, yeah having that extra energy here could be huge because then i would have had plus one energy here which means next turn i could die flame wings as well and then i'm already ready to attack if like they don't get this path to the peak because they do need a lot here they need to grab the melanie with the drizzle but we saw their hand we know they don't have the v max in the hand right now unless they top decked it so they need to get the v max off the melanie or an intellion to find the v max we know they have the reset stamp so that's going to be happening which is unfortunate for us uh there's that path to the peak so once again like I, now if i got the stadium bump like i could have had i mean if they had the stadium bump then i it would have worked out it would work out anyways we get a quick ball no stadium yet but we can also ultimate ray this turn oh no they do play the quick shooting and telling on so they're really putting us on a clock here actually unless they don't have the v max and don't take a knockout this turn because then we have a little bit more room to work with um their own more shadow off the level ball it makes me think their hand is probably a little bit dead maybe i know what that card is actually what did they take um no okay so they can knock out this next turn but actually we're just doing enough right we can just retreat ultimate ray two prize cards hey sounds good to me and we top the stadium so we could have attacked with Moltres there as well uh <laughs> gg's adp does it again um get this dub over this cali rex v max the judge whistles i mean they they felt pretty good like they i never felt like i mean they're making the deck flow a little bit faster right a little bit more consistently we only have so many cards we need to see to win games right we don't need to see all 60 cards um, sometimes you only need to see some of the 56 so if you can find more of the 56 more consistently that's what the judge was trying to do felt pretty good um i don't know need to test with them more though see you guys tomorrow